guys and welcome back to Shikenya TV in case you are new to our channel and guys before we go far I just want uh, today we are going to talk about the story of the Italian woman who left everything behind for her Maasai husband and lives in East Boma right now we are talking and guys I want you to, to tell you something from the Bible uh, remember the word is uh, like a lamp to your feet and a light to your path that is Psalms chapter mm -hmm. let me confirm for you Psalms chapter 119 verse 105 and guys before we continue before we continue guys uh, make sure you subscribe to our channel to be notified about our new video so guys um this guy the maasai guy is known as uh toyai koruta and um, the lady by the name uh, gaia dominici okay and they are they are they are, i think their marriage is just sent from above their marriage was sent from above okay guys um the couple who reside in the deeper roots of lift valley province knew from the world go they were meant for each other and have been together for some years and uh, they have also been blessed with a baby girl and uh, though they have fought a lot of challenges while they are together even now they are still fighting the challenges and guys uh, one cannot help but admire the love and respect they have for each other so Despite of the challenges they have been going through, uh, the lady is ju was just abandoned by biological mother, causing her trauma, and that's why uh, she had to move out of uh, Italy. And then she came to to Kenya. Yeah, she came to Kenya. That is 2014. Uh, she came for further studies at university and she was studying journalist. She was studying journalist. Actually, she came for Kenya for academic purposes. She didn't know whether she can get married to Amasai. So, guys, uh, and again, she said she, said she used to had some voices telling him that she must move to to Maasai land and see how the place is beautiful so guys since despite her since she was a journalist lady a journalist um, student she she had been going there at Maasai land taking some photos and while she was there taking some photos that is when she met no Toyai Koruta, the, the husband, the Maasai husband, now he saw the lady taking photos. Then she she went near to, he, to her. Then they start talking. And guys, the lady said also she had to she had been going to brazil before she came to kenya she was doing tourist there okay and uh, this is the daughter this is their daughter this is their daughter and um yeah yeah this is the daughter the mother and the father guys what do you think about this uh this marriage hey? for me i don't even, i don't know what to say okay 
At first, she used to stay with his mother due to Maasai culture. That is when they had, they had come into agreement that they are now ready to mingle. They are now ready uh, to marry each other. But due to cultural, due to Maasai cultural culture, they were not supposed to sleep together. Yeah, you see, so. You can see the love the father has for for her daughter, guys. This is amazing, amazing. And this is lady. This lady is known as Siankiki. Siankiki. Siankiki is a Maasai name that means young lady. That means young lady. And this girl, this lady said to Kenyans that don't listen. To what people are saying instead listen to yourself and do what you love listen to yourself and do what you love and she also said that um, Masai elders took took uh, her like I don't know what to say but she said she was taken a lot of care a lot of protection she said the elder the Maasai elders thought um, she was their kid by birth so guys uh she said again she said again his husband has also another woman another woman not women according to Maasai culture but it's okay for for him to marry another woman she said she has no problem with that and again she said when she is disappointed or when they are in agree disagreement with her husband she even end up find herself talking a lot of italian guys <laughs> husband said that she don't know how to cook her kenyan food so the husband is the one who most of the time do cook but she washes the utensils and also she said again mm, she is go she is doing farming right now and they are also keeping the livestock then they 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 do give livestock and then they resell again and also she said uh, she she has a big uh, a big a big a big shop whereby she is making uh, the jewels maasai the jewels maasai you know you know the, those necklaces the maasai wear the bangles yeah those kind of stuffs stuffs they are also selling the Maasai Kikois. I, yeah, that's what she says she she is doing to earn a living in Kenya. She said she loves Kenya a lot. She said she loves Kenya a lot, and she says, um, she said, uh, Kenyans. The one thing about she loves about Kenyans, Kenyans don't judge. They are very respective and yeah, that's why she loves uh, Kenyan. She also said so many things which I'm not going to mention here. And guys, for full story, for full story, for full story, you can go to Tuko and watch the full story. So guys, uh, we are going to... Our, let us know what you think about it, this video in the comments.